Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Asher Shabbat. Uh, my name is Yachanan Maccabeus. I go by the name of Azariah Ephraim. By the name of Meshach ben Tanhan. And tonight's lesson is Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through the Bible and we're going to show you that you should not hate your brother in your heart. Alright? The first book we're going to go to is the book of John. Chapter 8. Verse 32. And it reads, Book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And knowing the truth of the Bible, man, the only way we're going to be able to get out of the captivity that we're in in modern day Babylon, man, coming back to the law, that's the commandments of the Most High God. Really understanding what the truth of the Bible is, that's what's gonna set us free, man. Um, so from there, we we'll jump to Isaiah 28, verse 10. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 10. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. And uh, by going through this Bible, we're gonna go precept upon precept, command upon command. So that you can get the proper understanding of this Bible. Um, from there, we're going to go to the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. And it reads, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. And you know, uh, that's one of the main things we see in Israel, man. A lot of our people hate him. Hate, hate, hate on each other, and we really got to come up out that. You know, we got we always got to show love to each other. A lot of us don't learn as fast as other people learn, and you know, we got to be able to, to have that knowledge and that wisdom to be able to, to deal with people who, who are not going to come up with doctrine or uh, are going to deal with this doctrine like some of some of us are. You know, the most, the most high blessed some of us with knowledge a little faster than he blessed bless others with. So we got to have that knowledge and wisdom to know that we we have to we have to go with with the way other people learn. Same. And we gotta have the patience of the saints, you know. We gotta calm down. We gotta realize some of the things that we're coming out with. You know, some of the people aren't used to hearing. They never heard these things before because the Christian, the Christian churches they only give you the stories of the Bible. You know, they're not giving you the milk of this Bible so that you can go back and learn it the proper way. And that's why we're going through this Bible because we gotta have the patience and love our neighbors. Right. And, 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 and a big thing too. Uh, a lot of our people hate being rebuked. You know, we're stiff, we're stiff, enough, stiff, stiff neck people, Salakia. So um, and a lot of our people hate being rebuked. And you gotta understand, rebuking your brother is one of the most ways you can show them love. You know what I'm saying? That's why. That's why. When, that's why I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it again. It says, uh, "Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, and not suffer sin upon him." So you gotta rebuke your neighbor. And you gotta show them where they're going on so they can come about that and they can get back to what they're supposed to be doing. He's lost that commitment to the most high God. You know what I'm saying? So uh from there we're gonna go to Proverbs uh, chapter eleven, verse twelve. We just read that. No, we was in uh, that was Leviticus. We just, uh, we just read Proverbs, didn't we? No, nah, no. Nah, we, we just read uh, we just read Leviticus. Okay. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 12. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 12. He that is void of wisdom despiseth his brother, but a man of understanding holdeth his peace. So it's saying right there, the ones who don't, who don't have wisdom, who don't want that wisdom, they despise their brother because they're not looking for that truth. You know what I mean? And you got to understand when it says... Uh, the understanding of wisdom. Read that second part again. He that is void of wisdom despises his brother, uh -huh. but a man of understanding holdeth his peace. And we gotta have that understanding and that wisdom, like I was just saying before, to understand a lot of people ain't gonna get the same things that, that we all do at the same time. You know, the most high is gonna bless people with certain knowledge and they're gonna gain it a little slower, a little faster than the others. So we gotta have that knowledge to keep our peace and deal with our people the right way. 
got you want to touch base on anything on that? That's right. Yeah, we, we, we got to hold our peace and not bicker with our brothers. You know, some of them, we got to have the patience and calm down and we got to express them and we got to show them. Instead of arguing with them, instead of showing them wrath, we got to slow down a little bit and we got to give them the understanding so we got to take our time with them. Right. From there, we're going to go to the book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Uh huh. See right there, it's perfect way it just says. Like some of us, all of us were foolish. We were all in one one way or another. We were all in the world, and we had to come to this knowledge somehow. So we gotta hold our peace, and we gotta deal with everybody accordingly. Agree? For we ourselves were sometimes foolish, uh -huh. disobedient, right. deceived, serving divers' lust mm -hmm. and pleasures, living in malice. And envy, hateful, and hating one another. Right. Now, we were out in the streets before, you know, before we came to the knowledge of this truth. We know the churches wasn't giving us the proper understanding of this Bible. You know, we were out there and we were thinking that we could go out there and we could lust after women. We could be whoremongers. Some of our people think they could be homos. And we just think that we can pray and God's going to forgive you. But nah, we was once fools too. We got to come up out of those lifestyles. Because that's the wrong way. And now that we got the understanding, we can't hate our brothers because we know that these were the wrong ways. You know, we were once disobedient. We were once foolish. They say you can learn a lot from a dummy. Well, you can learn a lot from us because we was once dummies. And now the Most High is showing us the proper way. And we're going to share with you on how to get the meat from this word. And you know, a lot of us were fools. We were, a lot of us were in Christianity, man. And we, we were taking a lot of doctrines that say that we could be gay or, you know, this is the way God made us come as you are. But you can't give me that scripture in the Bible. Yeah, and the Most High said, Christ said, you got to deny yourself. You got to pick up the cross and you got to follow him. Uh -huh. So we got to have that patience once again with our brothers. And you got to realize they not used to hearing it the way that we're giving it to them. They used to getting the, that going to church and getting that twenty minute or an hour feel good doctrine where the pastor read one scripture and they go around jump around hooping and hollering. But you gotta realize they're not used to hearing us who holler and scream. Right. But they used to that pastor who holler and screaming in the pulpit because that's the one who's supposed to be coming to them with knowledge. And they ain't used to people telling them, "Look, you can't do that." They not knowing that we showing them love. You got something you wanna add? Yeah. All right. So down the basics, common sense, all right? They say, uh, well, Christianity of all types teach us uh, on how to stay uh, virgins, is better off, and not losing your virginity, and someone says it's okay if you even end up turning gay. Now, it's put common sense to it. If God created life to prosper, then being gay or staying a virgin is going to go go against prosperity of this life. So it's going against what God was, um, what God made, and what He meant to happen. That's right. So it can't be right if it's going against that. Right. Understand? It's common sense and knowledge. Yeah. So you can't ABC, be ABC, red light, green light. Salakia. Yeah. So you can't be celibate like a, like a, like nuns teaching. You can't be a celibate Catholic priest. You know? Right. That's why they don't keep convents, and they got a lot of homosexuality breaking out amongst them. That's right. Most high man said he made he made man and he made female. That's right. And all this all this transgender stuff that's going on around man is confusion. And the devil was the author of confusion. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, nowhere in the Bible you can tell me God gave you a mind so you can think whether you want to be a, a male or a female. You want to say, change your sex. God didn't make you. God didn't make you that way. That's that devil doctrine of Christianity and the devil doctrine of the white man put on you, man. You gotta come about that. Like I said, we were all one fool. So from there we're gonna go to uh first John and we're gonna go to chapter two. And we're gonna start at verse nine and jump down to uh verse eleven. The book of first John, chapter two, verse nine. He that said he is in the light and hated his brother is in darkness, even until now. Yeah, you see a lot of you see a lot of our brothers, man, they, they claim they in the truth, they claim they know this truth, but then they turn their back on their brothers. You know, we got a lot of people coming to this truth, and sometimes it's a little too hard for them to take heed to. You know, sometimes they're not used to that rebuke, and some of them leave and go back to that soft doctrine or that Christianity because it's more appeasing and it's more smooth to their ears. 
But we got to understand, when it's their time to come back and the Most High gives them that understanding to come back, we got to accept them. So anybody who sits there and says they look, that they, they got this truth and they in this light, and one of their brothers leave from this truth, you know, go back to the world and try to come back, and you don't let your brother in, man. Most High says it right there in that scripture. He said that you are in darkness even until now. So you are in darkness as well, especially if you're shedding that hate on your brother, especially if you want to come back to that truth. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Verse 11. But he that hateth his brother uh -huh. is in darkness uh -huh. and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whither he goeth because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. So if you got to hate towards your brother because he done something wrong and you don't have forgiveness in your heart, then you yourself will blind him. Right. You know, if, if you won't rebuke your brothers, yourself will blind him. Because to rebuke your brother is to show them love. If you should not hate your brother, that's to show them love. Right. You've got to give them discretion. You've got to remember. Right. And Isaiah, Isaiah 58 and 1 it says to cry loud and spare not. Mm -hmm. That's what we got to do as a people. Sometimes love is tough. You can't spare somebody's feelings. Because anything you say sometimes is not going to be what they want to hear. But it's something that they got to hear. Yeah. You understand? And that goes back, that goes all the way back to Leviticus 19, where it says you should give your brother a rebuke. rebuke. You should rebuke your neighbor. Rebuke thy people, man. Because that's the only way we're going to know our transgression and the only way we're going to be able to come back to this to this truth and understand that we got to follow the law, statute, commandments of the Most High God, man. That's you know right. what I'm saying? A lot of us, like I said, is not going to take heed the same way other people are going to do. So you got to be able to work with your brothers, man. You got that's, that's showing love to your brother. When you can sit there and give him the patience, that the, even when revelation, the patience of the saints, man, you got to be patient. You got to you got to deal with your brothers accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, if you if if you uh, spoil a child, you give them whatever they want, they're gonna be they're gonna be spoiled. Okay. You know what I mean? You gotta feed um, um giving a child love is discipline. If you if you buy them whatever they want and, and you give them all candy and sweets and all kind of candy stuff, you're spoiling them. You're, right. You're making them brats. Can. You know what I mean? Can. And, and that's that's kind of like the same ba um, basics and 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 in, in, in our knowledge and our life. You know? That's right. Yeah. That's, that's 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 what God is trying to really do with us. You can't you know? be sweet, man. You can't be sweet to your people, man. The Bible says, although we are stick up rebellious people but right. we are rebellious people if you give them people if you be soft on our people our people will never learn our people will never will never under, have that true understanding that's right so um from there we're gonna go to uh first john chapter three verse 15 the book uh first john chapter three uh -huh. verse 15 right. whosoever hated his brother is a murderer uh -huh. and ye know that no murderer uh -huh. have eternal life Abiding in him. So that's how serious it is. So if, you, if you're not rebuking your brothers and warning them of this sword that's coming from your homicide, then you hate your brothers. And you're a murderer. You are a murderer. You're a murderer. You, it says in the scriptures, if you don't warn them of the sword to come, then their blood is upon your hands. Yeah. So you hate your brothers. We are not to hate your brothers. That's exactly what it says in the scripture, man. It says if you... So read that read one more time for me. The book of First John, chapter 3, verse 15. Uh -huh, read. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Because if you ain't willing to sit That's there and right. give your brother that rebuke and give him and show him his transgression, you're murdering his soul, man. You're and, killing him. And ye know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in him. You know what I'm saying? A lot of our people, man, we're not in this truth, and a lot of people are gonna, it's gonna be hard for us to get in this truth. So when you're not giving your brother that truth, man, you're murdering his spirit, you're murdering his soul, and you're letting him take on the ways of the world. That's right. And that's the way we don't want to do. We don't want our people in the ways of the world, man. The most high wants us to separate ourselves from these people, man. You know what I'm saying? This world, this world is like swine, man. It's unclean. And the most high wants us to separate. So when you're not giving your brother and rebuking him of his transgressions, you are murdering his spirit, man. That's yep. how serious it is. Tell, tell your brothers and sisters, according to this Bible, you're not supposed to be celebrating them holidays. You're not supposed to be celebrating birthdays. You're not supposed to be celebrating Mother's Day. You're not supposed to be celebrating Christmas. You're not supposed to be celebrating Easter. You've got to let them know. Because we taking all the ways of the heathens. The scriptures say, learn not the ways of the heathen. Because the heathen are dismayed. Yep. It says he hate. He despise your feast days. Oh, I'm doing it because it's together time to get with the family. No, you got holy days. 
Use those holy days to get together with your family. God gave them to you. Go back and read them holy days in Exodus. Let me just bring out a precept to what you're talking about. Uh, this is a book of Proverbs, this is chapter 3, verse 31. And be, and be thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. And that's what the Most High God is saying, man. Don't choose on other ways. We're taking on Christmas, we're taking on Easter, we're taking on Valentine. You can't show me any of that in the Bible. None of those are high holy days. None of those things are custom that our people used to take on. So the Most High said, And be thou not your oppressor, and don't choose, and choose none of his ways, man. Salakia. And anyway, if, if you follow these holidays, most of these holidays is tributes to false gods. And God said, put no other God before me, because he is a jealous God. So if you love your brothers, you're not going to allow them to endure this wrath of God that is absolutely coming. It's coming. There's no way around it. you got to warn them. you told them to warn them. So from there, from there we're going to go to uh, the book of Matthew, uh, I believe it's chapter 5, verse 21. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 21. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, uh -huh. thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of judgment. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whoever shall say to him, his brother, Rakab, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Uh -huh. That's right there. It says, who shall ever, who shall, whosoever shall lie. Anger with thy brother without a cause. You know what I'm saying? You can't be out here mad at your brothers and have no reason to be and be mad at them. If he if he didn't bear false witness on you, if he didn't steal something from you, if he if he can't kill your sister, you know, you can't have that anger towards your brother. You know what I'm saying? And yet it says, shall say recall. Shall be it says recall, recall is foolish. So the foolish ones who do that man shall be in danger of judgment. That's right. Thus saith the most high. That's good. And if you go into the book of Matthew and look at the uh, 5, verse 21, that's coming straight from Yahweh Shah's mouth, man. That's in the red letters. So that's how serious it is. He said, if you have anger towards your brother, man, and, you, and you're foolish towards your brother, you shall indeed endure that judgment, man. So what we're going to be out here, we're going to be on these street corners, and the youth ain't going to want to hear it. we got to have the patience with them. They're going to be, they ain't used to it. They're used to hearing this foolish music that's on the radio. Because they see these hip-hop artists and this black foolish entertainment television. This brainwash entertainment television, rather. That's where they're getting it from. They're not used to getting the sincere milk. So we got to have this patience with them. And we got to go out here and we got to do what they got to do. Remember, if they hated him, if they hate you, remember they hated Christ first. So we gotta go through it. That's gonna be the same thing that's gonna be on us, man. Christ said he hated us first. So if they hated Christ for what he was doing and he was abusing them people, how you think they're gonna feel about us, man? Especially people that were already in this world, like people like us who came out the world. And now we're telling our brothers and our sisters to come about that. But they always try to bring up your past. Oh, you was doing this before, you was doing that before, because we're stiff neck and rebellious, but we gotta make sure we keep coming at our feet and rebuking them, man. That's and we, right. we gotta be willing to show them, look, we was much fools. Uh -huh. We was much whoremongers. We was much lavish. We was much drug users. We was much whoremongers. We was turning women out. We got to show them that we better than that. When, when you read Matthew 7, when it say remove, chapter 7, when it say remove the moat from your eye, that's what we got to do. We got to remove the beam, then remove the moat from our brother's eyes. And that's what we doing so they can see us and, and us being the new people. Right. You got to let them know, man. We know better than them, man. We just, we just, we the same way we used to be in the world, but we have more knowledge of how we're supposed to live life, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing that changed now, man. We just try to tell our people that we just have more knowledge now, how we're supposed man, to be living the life that. in the name of Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. All right. So what, what we're doing is, uh, uh, that the, what we what we talked about um, um, earlier, uh, uh, what we watch on TV, BET, 
Black Entertainment, uh, all those other channels, uh, even the Latino channels and stuff. That's all stereotyping. You know what I mean? We're, we're really falling for how the government wants us to act. So because our children or the young ones watch this on TV, they grow up thinking they have to act that certain way because That's they are right. that certain That's way. Right. And it's not them. It's not It's not how, how they should be acting. It's how the government uh, wants them to act. So really, we're just doing what they want us to do without even knowing it. And, and, right. and, and it's sad, you know? That's why most of these things, you, you got you to gotta be open-minded and, and be into the Word and be into... And to, and, what you study, because most of these things, if you learn from whatever was invented from someone else, you're going to get steered the wrong way. That's right. All oh, praises. That's all that TV's there for, man. It's to brainwash our people, man. It's an idiot box. I enjoy a good show, but I always keep in the back of my mind, don't take the show seriously, because it's not me, it's not you, it's not nobody. It's television, man. It's television Tele- vision, what they want you to yep. do, man. Televise, lies, and vision. Uh-huh. Tell lies in vision. Uh-huh. Television. That's right. Um, from there, we're going to go to 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. The book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 20. If a man say, I love God uh-huh. and hateth his brother, yep. he is a liar. What is he? He is a liar. That's right. If you say you love God and you hate your brother, man, the most I say you are a liar. Good. For he that loveth not his brother, uh-huh. whom have, he, ha, he has seen Slachia, how can he love God whom he has not seen? That, that speaks that speaks numbers right there, man. You can see your brother in your face every day, man. And you if you can if you can sit there and love and hate your brother and look at him in the face, how you gonna love Yahweh Shot and you never have once seen Yahweh Shot? If you love if you hate your brother, there's no way you can have faith in Yahweh Shot, man. You hate your brother over a different color, he wearing blue, one wearing red. That's stupidity. Mm-hmm. You hate your brother cause he he driving around in a nice car or you 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 worry about having a girl uh, equivalent to his. Right, right. That's foolishness. Foolish, right. You hate your brother because he's doing good and you walk down the street and you ain't putting forth your best effort. That's foolishness. You can't have that envy upon your brothers, man. Because that envy right there, it's just the same way. You got to think about the spirit of it, man. That envy right there could cause you to kill your brother. That envy right there could cause you to steal from your brother. That envy right there could have you do anything that... That is not of God to your brother because that envy inside you makes you want what they have and it makes you want to do something to them so that you can get what they have. Not even knowing that you're costing your own life, taking yourself, it can cause you to be in jail, it can cause you to get taken away from your family, man. And that, that's, something that, that's, something that, that's something that's real big in our community, man, and we need to get about that. When you hate your brother, man, you're, you're more than likely to do anything. Verse 21. Uh huh. And this command. Have we from him uh-huh. that he who loveth God uh-huh. love his brother also? Uh-huh. So if you love Yahweh and you love Yahweh Shai, then you're gonna love your brother as well, man. There's no way you can hate your brother because when you really think about it, man, Yahweh Shai is your brother as well. That's right. So if you hate, if you hate your brother, there's no way you could love Yahweh Shai in your heart. There's no way you could love Yahweh. So you gotta wake up, man, and we gotta love our brother, take care of our people, rebuke, rebuke our people, and have them come back to the lost that commandments of the Most High God, and warn them of uh, the judgment that's coming down to this place called modern day Babylon, man. Spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Rome. Really. And don't spare their feelings. Love is tough. Love is not this little mushy emotional because you wanna back down because they 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 feeling all oh, oh, that's oh, oh mushy, come on man, that's a feminine. Do what you gotta do. Think about it, man. When you was younger, when you was younger and you messed up, did your parents just let that thing slide by? I'm pretty sure nine times out of ten, especially if you grew up in a in a so-called black or so-called Latino household, you got your ass whipped. That's right. And that's tough love. That's right. You, 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 
end up getting that discipline and you end up understanding what you were doing wrong. So we gotta rebuke our people in the same nature so they can understand what they're doing wrong. And it's showing proof of the prophecy of who we are and what's gonna happen to the place called Bible. Back on the MVP. Why MVP? Life is perfect for you, but yet you want more. And that's part of a problem. We, we got this, 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 this greed in us that we gotta, and this envy in us, and we gotta just let go. Yeah. You know? Like we, gotta, we gotta just let it go with the flow. Lock, like the scriptures say, man, what is it to have gained the world, but have lo the lost your soul? Man? That's free. It's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? If you, if, you, if you see something that your brother got, ask him how he got it. You know what I mean? We gotta have that knowledge and that wisdom to. To try to ask maybe maybe he can help you get what he got but that envy man is going to cause you to kill your brother and cause you to be be looked down upon the most high god man is that the last scripture yeah that's the last scripture well, all right man well i hope that was edifying to the people man and of course if you want to say call the whole yeah how about shit i'm watching y'all get out of shot man and shabbat shalom shabbat shalom and uh you, you can check the page, Rise the Chosen, uh, Truth Beyond the Surface Temple. Um, and uh, we hope, like you said, I hope this will edify for you. Shout outs to Mikael, um, shout outs to Hosai Kanai, Uriel Ben Judah, Moshe Ben uh, Judah, Solomon Ben Israel, um, and anybody I'm forgetting, Asher Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. 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 Shabbat Shalom.